Looks like I'm swimming against the current as I just became a new paid Evernote user in 2024, despite a lot of controversy surrounding the famous note taking and task management application. The controversy comes after the application was acquired by an Italian mobile app company called Bending Spoons and the recent changes the company has made to the pricing structure of the platform. Nevertheless, I decided to start using Evernote at least for the next few months to organize my digital life. And while I learn more about how to use the application, I'll be posting videos about it so that others may learn a thing or two as well. With that said, in this video, we'll go over a quick overview of Evernote and some of its functionality. So let's get started. So I'll be using the desktop version of the application, but as you're probably already aware of, you can also use Evernote directly on a web browser like Google Chrome or Safari or download the Android or iOS application. Um, but I like using the desktop version uh, as this is where I find myself taking most of my notes. So after you download the program and log in into your account, whether you're a free or, or, or paid user, then you'll get here to the home screen of the application where you'll see here a menu on the left hand side and your working space here on the right side. This menu on the left hand side, it's probably how you'll be navigating the app the most and you can resize as needed or you can also minimize the menu down here or by clicking the F10 key, at least in Windows, to open it up or collapse it. Okay, so very simple menu working space on the right side and over here at the top you have your file edit view note window tools and help buttons to access a few more settings but you probably will not be interacting um, with these buttons a lot you'll be using the menu most of the time so let's start going over each of the items here in the menu so that we are familiar with the overall functionality of Evernote so here at the very top, very self-explanatory, we have a search bar where we can search for specific notes or text or even attachments included within notes. Um, that is the standard search. They now also have an AI powered uh, search functionality. Not sure yet which plans this is going to be um, included with, but basically it's going to have AI assist you in finding uh, notes or making summaries and things like that of specific notes. But for right now, I just stick to the standard. This is kind of what I use when I'm trying to find a note. Then we have here a simple create new note button. If I press that, it'll create a new note in kind of my default notebook, which in this case, it's my inbox notebook. Then we have the ellipsis menu where we can go ahead and import files directly from here. If we need to, we can also add audio or voice notes to specific notes. And we also have this sketch functionality, which I really like, which just opens up kind of a board with you have pens, highlighters, pencils, etc. And you can kind of draw or sketch if you need to. Right? And that just gets saved to a new note. We can also add a task directly from here and create an event that we'll later see in our calendar. Next, let's take a look at our home. This is where you want to be or where you want to land every time you open up um, the application. And this will kind of give you a summary of everything that you have going on. And it gives you also the ability to add or customize with different widgets what information you see um, in your home screen. So as you can see right now, I only have two widgets. I have a filter notes widget which is this small square that you see here and this is just showing me all my notes that I have um, under a specific notebook I believe it's my testing or no it's my inbox notebook and then the other widget that I have is just my tasks widget and that just shows me all my tasks that I have uh, coming up no matter what notebook they are in and I also have the ability to add new tasks directly from this widget um, here I also have shortcuts I haven't added anything under my shortcuts yet so that's why this widget is empty so if I need to I can go click here on customize I'm gonna remove the shortcuts widget um, let's say I want to add the calendar widget here on the right side and then recently captured here at the bottom and I'll make it longer I'm gonna click on done and as you can see I now have the calendar here on the right side and then I have the recently captured uh, images, documents, audio, etc. 
uh, widget here at the bottom. So the home screen, very powerful functionality that does let you customize kind of what you see when you first log in into the application. So next, let's skip a couple of these options and go straight into the notebooks as this is kind of the primary functionality um, or entity within uh, Evernote. So notebooks are just what they, what they sound like. There are notebooks or places where you can store different notes and you can also make uh, what they call stacks with your notebooks. So for example, here under my personal stack, I have a finance notebook where I throw any finance related notes um, into. And then I also have a jobs um, notebook. Here under testing, as you can see, I created a test notebook. So on, on, in the test notebook, I have two notes. And in test notebook number two, I only have one note and they're all under the testing um, stack. So that's kind of how I organize my notebooks. And obviously as I, you know, delve or start organizing different topics of my life or different areas of my life, I'll create a notebook for it and then store that um, either as a stack or throw it under the personal um, or any other stack that I may create in the future. So yeah, this, this will be the main functionality of Evernote, right? You'll have your notebooks and within those notebooks, you will have your notes that you can interact with uh, and either add tasks or paragraphs or, you know, tables. You can do a lot of stuff within a note that will be covered in another video. But just know that that's kind of the main hierarchy or the main entities within Evernote are your notes and those notes go inside notebooks. Okay. Uh, going back here to the shortcuts. So just so that we can keep going down the list. So let's say I want to have access either to a note or a specific notebook and I want to access that quickly. I can right click on that and then add to shortcuts and I'll see it now here under the shortcuts menu. I also see here a sub menu with the recent notes that I have accessed. So I can jump, I can quickly jump back to anything that I was working on previously. So that is the shortcuts. Then we come into the notes that just gives you a view of all your notes um, that you are or have been working on. You can obviously create a new note directly from here as well. Or you can filter and look for notes created or located in specific notebooks. But I don't tend to use this menu a lot. I tend to access my notes more in the um, notebooks menu that we just discussed. But that's just more of a personal preference. Next, we come to tasks, and this one's really interested. So as I said earlier, no matter what uh, note you are working on, you can always add a task. So for example, here in node, in node two, I have three tasks. And then in node one, I have another task to turn in a research paper. Um, and what's cool about this tasks view is that it can kind of consolidates all your tasks, no matter what note or notebook they are uh, on. So here in my tasks uh, tab, I see all my tasks kind of consolidated. I also have a notebook notebooks view where I can look at the tasks per notebook. Right now, all of my tasks fall into the test notebook. If I look at notes, I can see the split or which tasks fall into which notes. I also have a today's tab that kind of just organizes tasks in, you know, what you have coming up today, tomorrow, next seven days and more into the future. And if you are assigning tasks to different users or if you're collaborating in Evernote with different users and you're assigning tasks to each other, you can see the tasks that are assigned to you in this tab. But in this case, that's not my case. So that is tasks. Um, again, all of these functionality, as, as I learn more about it, I'll make a video on it. But I just kind of want to give you the overview right now. Then we come into the files. Again, you can add files to any uh, note that you wish inside Evernote. So for example, here in this note one, I added a PDF. So not only do I have a task and then a few, you know, words or bullet points, whatever you want. I now also added a PDF to this note. This PDF, if I don't want to see the preview of it, I can switch and only see the title. Um, so yeah, you can store documents within your notes. And if you want to see kind of a consolidated view of all the files that you have stored, no matter what notes or notebooks they're in, then you will do so here in the files menu. And this is where you can search 
or view all the different files or media that you have attached on their specific note. So next we have the calendar view where you can see the tasks that you have assigned a due date to. You can see them in a calendar view and you can obviously have, you know, a week, a day or a monthly view. And what's cool about this functionality is that you can also sync your Outlook and Google Calendar um, to this Evernote calendar so that you can see those events um, displayed here as well. Uh, notebooks we've already covered these again are the main entities that you'll be interacting with when it comes to Evernote we then have uh, tags which are pretty self-explanatory so you can tag different notes here at the bottom so let's say that you know you're trying to categorize your notes but they might be located in different notebooks so you can start adding a tag to them and you can see them here in the tags menu uh, share with me again if you're collaborating with other users in Evernote. This is where you'll see stuff that people are sharing um, to you or assigning to you. And then you just have your trash where you see notes that you have recently deleted. So there you have it, a very quick walkthrough and overview of the main functionalities within Evernote. Um, as I do use this software more, I'll be more familiar with it and these videos will keep getting more detailed and hopefully more helpful um, to you guys, especially if you are also new to Evernote this year. So anyways, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys on the next one.